good morning it's really lovely looking out the window now and seeing all that cut grass and clean <laughs> garden it's really nice well it is early but I actually got half an hour extra sleep the cats didn't wake me up as early as they normally do to go out so that was nice it was a nice treat and I've taken the puppies out they've had a good run around um, they love it when I run around with them so I thought I'd open my advents this morning with you while I'm speaking with you so let's do that I am drinking out of a mug by Jacinta Jacinta is the one I'm doing the advent swap and has the packaging wrapped with the black paper twine um, she's a lovely ceramicist and I will put a link to her shop below so I'm pretty excited about the big parcel in the um, natural fiber arts advent oh it's big but I'm gonna open this one first this is from my friend Joanne it's in a lovely handmade box oh so nice okay we made bath bombs as well but not compared to this look at that it's double double colored I I'm gonna have a bath this weekend and I'm going to thoroughly enjoy popping that in. Lovely, thank you Joanne. Next up is Kathleen's Advent. Here we go. It's nice, I have a um, flowers are in the circles and in the lines of the circles that's cool the floral design very nice I will thoroughly enjoy making something with that okay now just into this one uh -huh. oh, and so nice some more fabric it's some um, corduroy Pretty. I think Hazel would like a pair of pants in this. There's enough fabric for a pair of Hazel pants. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you, Jacinta. Okay, last one. I didn't know that we get big ones. Why did I not know that we didn't get big ones oh, look at that oh, it's a big one oh, oh look at the little the variants in that color so nice focus on the yarn that's coming out pretty much the color Oh. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Mm. Oh, I'm so thirsty this morning. I need to have a few um, cups of water before we go for our hike. So we're going to Hanging Rock today. Um, we're going to meet lots of other homeschool families so I will take a little bit of footage of the scenery and our walk that we go on it's gonna be a lovely lovely day I'm also looking forward to coming home and getting back into the gift making but it's good that we're going for a long walk and then we're having lunch and then I'll be able to sit still so chuffed about this oh, so lovely you would have seen that I was making the mushroom ornaments for my kids and I have finished all three and how sweet is this
so sweet. It is a um, free pattern that you can find on Ravelry. If you can't access Ravelry, then just let me know and I'll be happy to email it to you. That is just, just really sweet. Really sweet. I've just had them blocking overnight and um, this one's still a little bit wet, which will mean the other one's still a tinsy bit wet too. But that's okay. It's the second one. They're so sweet. They're so cute. I just did a crochet chain for the hanging part. And here's the last one. The slightly lighter grey top. Yay, so that part of my making is done. Now to get on to the big projects. Um, they are small toys, but they will take a while. So I'm gonna get started on those today. So cute. Little mushroom earrings. Little mushroom earrings. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm hoping to have another chat with you today um, later on, but if not, enjoy the following footage of my day, little snippets of it, and I hope you have a lovely day too. Bye. I'm just packaging up orders at the moment, but I got some new business cards, so I thought I'd show you my business cards. These are photos that Michelle took for me. I'll put her details below. She's a Bendigo-based photographer. So I've got some nice big stacks of new business cards to go with my orders. And here are the pocket belts that are going out today. And here are the handkerchiefs that are going out. So these ones and also all of these ones I need to iron up and then package them. <laughs> I am sitting out the back watching the dogs sniff around the lawn area out here and it is just lovely it's a beautiful day we just went to Hanging Rock I took a little bit of footage so you will see that we did a big walk up the rock up to the summit and beautiful views lovely conversation and play with our other um, homeschool
family friends and now my kids and Latham have gone off and they've gone to karate tonight. What is it? It's 3.30 and I have like three hours ahead of me by myself here. It's beautiful out here. I feel very, very calm. And I'll just sit out here with the puppies for a bit. I could bring my knitting out here and, and watch them actually. I desperately need to water the garden tonight. So I will do that. I delivered a whole heap of orders this morning. Jackie's going into my veggie garden so I might go and wander up. Jackie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't dig in the veggie garden, okay? We have managed to cut pretty much all the grass in our big two acre garden and now the puppies have and the kids have a huge stretch of grass to run around on which is great do you like running around yeah that's nice isn't it <laughs> hey jackie hey jackie but we still have this huge amount of grass to cut along the fence line. This is our hedge that we've tried to grow and yeah. <laughs> it's going well in some areas but there's a lot of grass. And it goes all the way around so we have to attack this. Oh, this weekend would be great. The pink yarrow is coming out now. It's lovely. I have got lots of different colours growing this year in my flower garden. Let's go see if they've got flowers. Okay, there is some. It's almost ready. It's almost going to pop out, so we'll get to see what colour that is. These poppies are just keeping on. Look at all these poppies. Look at all of them. And there's so, so very much of the False Queen Anne's lace too now. I really need to come out here and pick it. path through here. Now it is absolutely impossible to get through. I think when I pull out these poppies I'll discover the path eventually. It's a nice apricot coloured one. 